for the equipment today, just a reminder, we do want to have our bands nearby, uh, a chair and a washcloth too. Um, one of those workouts where I don't know the exercises we're gonna do because you're gonna help me choose. So we may or may not end up using the chair or the washcloth, but have them at the ready in case because it could be something we end up using. Let's start with some seal jacks today. So we are not gonna waste any time in getting your heart rates up today. So we're gonna be stepping out or hopping out, whichever feels good to you this morning and taking the arms in and out. So my question that I have for everyone today is if you could hunt an animal, not to kill it, but rather to successfully tame it and befriend it, what would you choose? It can be a mythical creature or animal. My answer is a panda bear. I think they're pretty dangerous, but I'd love to like, actually be friends with one so I could cuddle up with it. Liz and Jill, what animal would you pick? Oh, there you go. That's a great one. Leprechaun. Be friends with Sasquatch, why not? Catherine, what would you choose? There you go. All right, let's uh, line pumas, that'd be great. Let's go into um, some front lunges. So you're gonna take a step forward Go into a lunge, get that knee close to the ground and stand back up. We're just gonna alternate sides. So you'll take one side in front, stand up, and then the other side in front and stand up. Good. Becky, what animal would you choose? Narwhal, yes. Becky's narwhal. Christy, what animal would you choose? Ooh, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Manatee. What about you, Lorena? What animal would you choose? Hmm, that would be nice. Have an owl for a friend. It's probably really soft. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Arwen? What animal would you choose? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You've seen how to tame a dragon. You'd be friends and ride around on it. <laughs> what about you, Christina? What animal would you choose? I've heard they can be pretty nasty, so it'd be nice to actually be able to be friends safely with one. What about you, Yev? What animal would you choose? All right, you could be the person. Okay. All right, so one more thing to warm up and then we'll get started here. Um, many of you are telling me how much you love the chest to ground exercise. So I'm just gonna go over that again with you and make sure we're clear on a couple of variations because we're gonna run into that in our workout today. So there's a couple of variations on the mat. You're just focusing on getting the chest to the ground. However, that works for you. So if you need to kneel down first, get on the forearms, get to the chest, and then you're coming all the way back up to standing. So that's one version you can do. If you wanna get into a high plank and come down, and then hop up, that's fine too. And let me show you one more on the chair. 
And then we're gonna do this for just a minute to get ourselves more warmed up. So on the chair, you can take it to the forearms, get the chest to the chair, and then take a forward lunge, touch the ground, forward lunge, touch the ground. So that's kind of like a, a mix up of what we would do on the mat. So try out the version that you feel like works best for you. We're gonna do that for about a minute, a little bit less, and then we'll get started here. I love all your animal answers. That's great. Here in Pittsburgh, the zoo has just opened up. I've already been there. We went and saw the tigers the other day and the lions. A lot of animals that I would like to get close to, but will never because it's very dangerous, but fun to look at. All right, a few more seconds and then we're gonna kick off this hunt themed workout. Thus the question of hunting something. Okay, so this is the way it's gonna work. Each round, what's what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little scavenger hunt. Whoever wins the scavenger hunt, the first two people to win will choose the exercises, the strength-based exercises for the round that comes after that. So I'm gonna get everybody ready listening here. This is what we're gonna do. Everybody go and look. The first item and the first people to come to screen and show it on the screen is a magazine. Who can show me a magazine of any type? Okay, we've got Lorena, anyone else? Can be like an advertisement magazine, could be anything. And I'll give this a few seconds. If we don't get a second one, then I will choose the second exercise. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna come in here and choose the second exercise. So. Lorena, take a look here. I have our little exercise list for the scavenger mixer. You are gonna pick something in category two while I pick something in category one. Let's Oops. get started with that. So the strength moves are gonna be for one minute. You wanna choose a challenging band as we do when we do strength exercises because you want to not hardly be able to get through that one minute of work. So the Arnold press with the band, you're trapping one, like one side against the chest. So like left hand against the chest. You're starting with your fist facing your face and then you're rotating it up as you press out. So you're gonna be pressing out like this, right? So we're gonna do that on each side and then we'll be going into the exercise that Lorena chose here, a bow and arrow row. And that is going to be probably about the same band that you're using for the press, where you're taking one arm straight and the other arm kind of pulling back to your chin ear level. All right, so pick your bands. We're gonna get started here with two rounds of those two exercises. And let's start with pressing with the right hand. So we're gonna start palm facing your face and then rotating it out as we press up above our head. So trap the band against your chest with the left hand and we're gonna go here in three, two, and we're pressing up. So this should be slow and controlled. And as I've told you before with these strength exercises, so we have a minute here, but it's not a failure if you can't make it through that minute. That just means you've chosen a really heavy band and you're working to that maximum strength to benefit if you have worked to where you can't get through that whole minute. So really going slow and controlled. The next time we do this, we'll switch sides, but we're gonna stick on this side for the full minute here. All right, 15 seconds. All 
All right, and three, two, and one. Okay, so now you can keep the same band and go on your bow and arrow movement. So that's gonna be sticking your left arm out straight and with that right hand pulling back to the chin ear area. And we're starting that in three, two, and one. So that arm that's pulling back to your ear, make sure that shoulder doesn't creep too much up to your ear. You wanna keep that shoulder pressed down. Excellent. All right, halfway through. Everyone's looking good. You all look, you all look like you're hunting something. <laughs> Bow and arrow. Here we go. Ten more seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're just going to do the other side. We're going to go to Arnold press on the left and then the bow and arrow on the left side. So let's get started with band with the right hand. You're going to trap it against the middle of your chest and pressing up with the left hand. And we're going. Okay. And this rotation we do really work some extra in the shoulder, in the shoulder blade area. So a little different than just pressing up without the rotation. There's some added benefit into that upper back area. Nice, slow and controlled. Good, last 20 seconds. Keep it up. And three, two, and one. Arnold press. So now that right arm is going to be out straight. And for the rowing, rather the bow and arrow, you're going to take that left arm back to the chin. And we're going now. Really try to squeeze those shoulder blades together as you're pulling that band back to your ear. We're really working to engage those upper back muscles with this. All right, halfway through. So after this, we're gonna do a two minute little cardio burst and that will be the structure of all of our blocks of work today. One minute rounds of these strength exercises followed by a two minute cardio burst and it'll be four exercises that we do for 30 seconds each and it'll be the same exercises on every block and three two and one okay all right let me show you what's up so this is the same four exercises we'll be doing for the entire workout today when it comes to cardio we're going to do 30 seconds of chest to ground and then we're going to go 30 seconds of squat jump so that will be squatting and jumping or squatting and exploding onto the toes and not leaving the ground, whichever version feels good to you. So we 30 seconds of seal jacks and then 30 seconds of mountain climbers, which you can do on the mat or you can have your forearms on the chair and be doing mountain climbers like this. So let's get started here. We're gonna get your position where you like to do the chest to ground exercise. And we're gonna be doing 30 seconds of that before we switch over to squat jumps. And we're going in three, two, and one.
Halfway. Been great. Three, two, and one. Okay. Squat jumps, and we're going. We're going to rest after this cardio round, do another scavenger hunt. So, got about a minute, just over a minute left before we rest. And next up, we have some seal jacks in three, two, one, seal jacks. That's why it's called the mixer, because we started with strength, we mixed it up with a little cardio now. So we're back and forth today between the slow and the fast. All right, last exercise of our cardio round. It's gonna be mountain climbers. And we're headed there in three, two, and one. Mountain climbers. Halfway. Keep moving, just a few seconds to go. And three, two, and one. Okay, who's ready for some slow exercises now? <laughs> All right, get a drink of water. We're gonna get into our next hunt here. All right, so this next thing, this next item we're looking for it can be any size, big, tiny, doesn't matter, but here it is. This is what we're looking for. I would like you to find a ball, ball of any size. Okay, we've got Liz and Jill, and then we've got, okay, I was like three at the same time, but I think Catherine and Liz and Jill. Okay, so, Liz and Jill, why don't you put your heads together, take a look at category one. And while they're doing that, Catherine, you can take a look at category two. You'll let us know once Liz and Jill have decided what they want from category one. The chair, split squat, and bicycle crunches. All right, so let me just, these are all things we've done before, quick, quick run through, chair split squats. You're gonna put one foot back on the chair and Pop that front foot forward just a little bit, and then you're gonna go down as deeply as you can into a split squat on one side, like this, okay? And then the bicycle crunches, don't really need to demonstrate that too much, except for just make sure when you're doing these, your face, your gaze is on the ceiling straight above your head. And we'll be going slower with those because it's a strength exercise. So let's get started here with our Split squat. So find your chair, ottoman, stool, whatever you have at your disposal to elevate your back foot for the split squat. And we'll be doing this for a minute. Let's start out with the left leg. So left leg goes in front, right leg back on the chair, and you're going down to the squat starting now. Slow and controlled. So I would rather on this, you push yourself and go really deep and slow. And if you can only get to 30 seconds doing that way, that'd be fine. I would rather that than having a shortened kind of version where you're bouncing and still able to get through the whole minute. So just kind of reiterating the style that we're working today with that strength, slow motion. All right. And these burn after a minute, I'm telling you what. Feeling it now, and I was feeling it yesterday when I was doing these. 15 seconds to go. Really pressing through the heel of that front foot as you stand up. And three, two, 
and one, okay, to the mat. Now we're gonna do our bicycle crunches. All right, so we're starting in three, two, and one. So very slow and thoughtful through each movement here. Try to stick, when you're sticking one leg out, try to stick it out as far as you can. And here, and when you do any twisting core exercises, twist with your core. Don't just reach to the opposite knee with the elbow, but really rotate your entire torso to get that elbow towards your opposite knee. And that's gonna give you the most benefit in your rotational core muscles. And three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're headed to other side on the split squat. So you'll have this time your left foot back on the chair, right foot in front that you're standing on. You're going for a minute here, starting in three, two, and one. Down as far as you can and up. So there's a couple of reasons I always say to drive through the heel of the front foot. It just helps distribute the effort to the right place in your leg. And it also takes more strain off of your knee, your front knee being in this position where you're focusing on pushing through the heel. Because if you even do just one rep pressing through the ball of your foot, you can totally feel the difference on how that force transfers through your knee. So that's why I get specific on this. All right, last 15 seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay, time for some slower bicycles again. So, Head to the floor, and we're starting with the slow bicycles in three, two, and one. You were to watch where your neck is going. It's so easy when you're twisting side to side to kind of just end up looking down towards the floor or towards your feet. Really try to keep that gaze straight above your head on the ceiling. All right, 15 seconds here. And three, two, and one. Okay. We have reached the cardio round, friends. So get ready for your chest to ground. So we're gonna start with that one. And we are moving there in three, two, and one, chest to ground for 30 seconds. Now really remember, everyone's gonna look different with this as far as how you get to the ground. This is a complex exercise because you're standing up and going down, standing up and going down. But that's one reason we do it. It's very functional, right? Getting up and down off the ground. And it really gets your heart out very elevated to be up and down so much. Three, two, and one. And off to the squat jump. Let's do this.
right. In 10 seconds, we're going to seal jacks. And three, two, and one, seal jacks. Halfway there. Looking good. Keep up the hard work, everyone. 30 seconds of mountain climbers starting in three, two, and one. Right, only 10 seconds to go. You've got this. Keep moving. And three, two, and one. All right. And for a little rest and a little hunt again. Okay. All right. So this again, next one could be any shape and size, but show me a bowl. Could be a cereal bowl, could be a big like salad serving bowl. Whatever. Okay, Arwen is number one. Anyone else coming up with a bowl? Okay, Christina. And I did see you, yeah, <laughs> but I think it was a close tie there. So, all right, so Christina and Arwen. Let me show you the exercises again. Arwen, you're gonna choose from the first category. And then Christina, while well, she's deciding on the first category, uh, Christina, you'll be looking at that category. You've got it. So let me just tell you real quick what those are gonna look like. I don't know if any of you had a chance to check the, uh, the WhatsApp chat. I posted this pretty late last night, but I actually went over kind of a tutorial for these band tricep extensions there. I, I posted a little video, but basically it's pretty simple. You just wanna make sure you keep your elbow up pointed towards the ceiling and then not flaring out, so more closer to your face as you're pressing up like this. Don't have to grip the band, just kind of like have it, have it like this as you're pressing up and you're gonna be trapping it right on your shoulder there. And that'll be our first exercise. And then the second plank leg lift, you're gonna do a plank on the chair or the mat, however is comfortable for you. And then what you wanna be doing is lifting one leg at a time. And you wanna keep that knee locked and straight. So in other words, you're not lifting and bending the knee, but you're really keeping that leg straight as you alternate lifting legs. So let's grab a band, get started with those tricep extensions. One minute, we're gonna start with the right side on those tricep extensions. We're going in three, two, and one. So left hand is trapping the band against that right shoulder and you're keeping that elbow up as high as you can and also closer to your face. Okay. Good. All right, we're already halfway. Looking good. Oh. Really keep pushing as far as you can get. We're almost there to the end of the minute. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's get to the mat or the chair for your plank leg lifts. We're gonna be here for a minute. And let's go. Oh. One leg lifting at a time. You're really keeping that knee locked and that leg straight. 
not going to be able to lift it actually that far off the ground. And that's okay. Try to keep your hips level. Keep them from rocking side to side. So you really want to maintain that core tension. Halfway. Okay, last 10 seconds. Keep it up, keep moving. You've got this. Almost there. Three, two, and one. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into that tricep extension. Take your band in your right hand and you're gonna be trapping that band against your left shoulder so that you can Press up with that left arm. Okay, buddy, ready? And let's go. Tricep extensions on that left arm. Well, I could really feel it. I don't know about you, but going from that tricep extension right into the plank, arms feel a little bit more fatigued than usual doing a plank. But that's okay getting some extra work out of the arms by coupling those exercises together. This is good. Strong arms, everybody, today. 30 seconds to go. Keep that elbow pointed towards the ceiling as much as you can. Keep your elbow close to your face. Everyone's doing great on this form. And three, two, and one. Wow. Okay. One last time for those plank leg lifts. So let's get in position. Get ready there. We're going to start in three, two, and go. Plank with a leg lift. Alternating sides there. Right, we are halfway through. Draw that belly button into the spine. You really wanna keep as tight of a core as you can here. You're doing it, you only have 15 seconds left. So close. Don't stop, keep it going. And three, two, and one. Okay, we have reached the cardio round again. Just a couple minutes here and then we'll do another hunt. So we're gonna start as usual with our chest to ground. All right, so. Get in position, and we're gonna start here in three, two, chest to ground. All right. Looking fabulous, keep it up. Just a few seconds left before we get to our squat jumps. And three, two, one, and squat jumps. Last 10 seconds.
Steel jacks in three, two, and one. So lots of beautiful seals out there. Keep up the good work. All right. And we're going to 30 seconds of mountain climbers. And three, two, and one. Do this. A little break after this. Keep moving through this 30 seconds. Halfway. You've got this. And three, two, and one. Okay. Let's hydrate. And then we'll begin the fourth hunt. Okay. My hunch is this will be a fast one. This next item. So pay attention, get ready, and see if you can find a pen. Something to write with, not a pencil, a pen. Christy, okay, and Catherine, all right. Christy and Catherine. Okay, Christy, you are category one. So take a look at exercises in category one. And Catherine. Hamstring chair bridge. Hamstring got chair it. bridge. Catherine, category two. Excellent choice. Okay. We've got the kneeling band row and hamstring chair bridges. All right, so I'm going to show you. Those two exercises, we've done these before, but just a quick couple pointers on your form. So we will end up needing the chair, thus the hamstring chair bridge exercise. So you really want your, just the tips of your heels to be in the middle of that chair. Your knees should be bent at about a 90 degree angle. And you're going to be pressing up slowly, holding for a second, and then coming back down. If this seems really easy, you can alternate on each side by just doing one leg at a time. So you pick which one works for you. And then kneeling band row. You're going to take a pretty heavy band. And you'll be stepping on it with one leg or one foot. And you'll be in this kneeling position and rowing the band back like this. So let's get started on the chair. Everybody put their feet up on a chair or a, an ottoman, something chair-like. And we're gonna get in position for the hamstring chair bridges. So we've got a minute here and we're gonna start in three, two, and one. Slow up and slow down. Pause for just a second at the top when you've pushed your hips up as far as you can towards the ceiling and slowly lower down. Good. It's really important that just the edge of your heel contacts the chair in this one because that makes it a very nicely isolated hamstring exercise. You can feel the difference if you do a rep with the whole back of your foot pressing on the chair. It doesn't work the hamstrings quite as much. I'm sure you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. 15 seconds to go. Slow and controlled. And three, two, and one. Okay. So now, 
Let's pick a fairly heavy band. We're gonna start out rowing with the right arm. So take the band and step on it with your left shoe. So it's gonna be kind of under the ball of your foot on your left shoe. And then your left forearm is kind of placed on your left thigh. And this right arm, when it rows back, you wanna to row towards your hips on the right side. Everybody in position there? All right, so we are rowing in three, two, and go. Good. So you're kind of in this split stance here with one foot back. Stepping on that band with your left foot, pulling back with the right hand. As close as you can get to that right hip. Halfway. All right. Final few seconds if you're still working here. Oh, keep it up. And three, two, and one. Okay, back to the chair, hamstring bridges. On your back, heels up on the chair. And we're going. Three, two, and one. Slow up and slow down. Really challenge yourself to get those hips pressed up as far as you can towards the ceiling. If you squeeze your glutes at the end of the motion, that can give you a little extra movement towards the ceiling. Halfway. All right, final 15 here, keep moving. And three, two, and one. Okay, we are moving to the row exercise again with your bands under your right foot this time because we're gonna row on the left side. So let's grab your band, place it under the ball of your right foot. And step that left foot back. You can kind of lean on that right thigh with your right forearm and let's pull back here in three, two, and one. Well, after this round, or after this exercise, we just have one final round of cardio and we are done already. Moving right through on this Thursday morning. Proud of everyone for being here. Both of you who are doing the recording a little later today and everyone who's here with me right now. All right, keep up that rowing. 20 seconds to go. All right, and three, two, and one. Okay, this is it, final cardio round. And then we have reached the end. So get ready. We're gonna go into chest to ground one final time. Or chest to chair, whatever flavor is your preference. 
And we're going in three, two, and one. All right, you're doing it. 10 seconds to go. And three, two, and one. Time for some squat jumps. All right. I want to see some beautiful seals in about 10 seconds. And that's all of you. I know it. This is the last minute of work. Let's make it a good one. And seal jacks. All right, halfway through these. So close to our last exercise of the day. And we're heading to mountain climbers. And three, two, and this is it. Last exercise, make it burn. Feel it. Keep pushing. You can do it. 13 seconds. And three, two, and one. Whew. Excellent work, everyone. Okay, we're gonna go into a stretch on the mat. You're already here. So, you're gonna step that left foot forward. Those of you who did stretch and roll with me on Sunday, this is gonna feel familiar. So you're leaning towards that front foot, that left foot, which is giving you a nice hip flexor stretch on the right side. We're gonna internally rotate that right leg. So that means taking that right foot past the edge of the mat. So swinging it out to the side off of the mat. And that just gets kind of a deeper hip flexor stretch into those TFL muscles. And with all the mountain climbs we did today, I thought this would be a welcome, helpful thing for every one of you to get this area relaxed a little bit after all that hip flexion. So congratulations, everyone. Whether you're doing this now or doing it live, you've made it halfway through the workout for March already. All right, switch sides. Right foot's gonna be in front. You're sinking your body towards that right foot, pushing yourself into that stretch so you feel it in that left, front of your left thigh. And now let's take that left foot, rotate it away from you off the edge of the mat. And you're gonna feel that hip flexor, that TFL muscle getting a really good stretch right there. So Monday is the next fit camp. And it's gonna be pretty much a purely strength workout. There won't be anything fast moving about Monday because we are gonna focus on pure strength. Um, Simple but very effective workout. I think those of you who really like the strength workouts will be very happy with Monday's workout. All right, we're gonna go into a little bit of a child's pose, but working into the shoulders. So what that means is sinking your butt back towards your heels, crawling your hands out in front of you. So you're not resting on the forearms. You're trying to crawl those fingertips out away from your body and getting your hand stretched up away from you as much as you can so that you feel that pull through the shoulder joint. Trying to work into some of those muscles that we use today with the arm exercises. Okay. 
Okay. And lastly, we're going to pay attention to our calves now. A fair amount of explosiveness and jumping today. So let's get into those calf muscles with a runner stretch. Right foot stepping forward, left foot behind, and really keeping that left leg straight as you sink your body towards the wall. Keep that left heel down on the ground to get that nice calf stretch. Should feel good after what we did today. Um, for those of you that do the stretch and roll class with me, uh, this Monday at 8 a.m. is what we have on schedule for the next stretch and roll. All the other ones are Sundays at 10 a.m., so just be, um, be mindful of that, that the next stretch and roll class is actually happening right after fit camp on Monday at 8 a.m. Switch sides, right leg behind you. Keep that right leg straight. Heel planted on the ground and lean forward for that good calf stretch through the back of your right leg. Okay. All right, we did it again. You did it again. Thank you for being here with me this morning. Lovely to see all of you and hope to see you on Monday.